What is up y'all, OD here once again, AKA Big Jake. And today I got my hands on yet another Snake River Farms Wagyu tri-tip. Now normally when I get these, I usually cook them to a nice medium rare on the inside, but I think I'm gonna experiment with this one. And we're gonna go ahead and cook this one up brisket style. Don't get triggered. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging here and uh, let's get it trimmed up. We'll get it rubbed up and I'll show you what to do with it. All right, check this out guys. Amazing looking uh, Snake River Farms Wagyu tri-tip. These do come untrimmed by the way. And also I'd like to say that I got this from uh, Primetime Barbecue here in Bakersfield, California. I will put the uh, address in the description down below so you can go check it out if you're local or you happen to be in town. But uh, as they come untrimmed, as I said, we need to kind of get some of all of this fat off here. And then I'm gonna kind of trim up a little bit of this on the back, try to get some of the silver skin off. So let's go ahead and do that first and then we'll come back. All right, we got this nice and trimmed up. I got the majority of like the thick pieces of fat and a lot of the silver skin off as you can see. And I think this thing is uh, ready to go. And if you notice in here, we got a lot of nice marbling and that's because this is that Snake River Farms Wagyu. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, Santa Maria style rub on this tri-tip here. Even though we're doing this brisket style, I think the Santa Maria rub will complement it nicely. Uh, I will go ahead and put uh, all the ingredients down in the description so you can have the recipe for the rub. And then what you wanna do is just uh, liberally apply it to the meat. And anything that falls down here that's extra, you can kind of get the sides of it like this. All right, and literally that's all you do. We're gonna put this in a food saver bag and we're gonna let it sit overnight in the fridge for 24 hours and then we'll uh, come back tomorrow and we'll smoke it up. All right, y'all, it is the next day and we're about to get the smoker fired up. I'm gonna use the Weber Smoky Mountain and I have it set up uh, minion method style. I have some of this uh, big block Commando Joe charcoal. I just started using this stuff recently, picked it up at Lowe's and I love this stuff. Uh, we'll probably eventually end up doing a review on this charcoal. But anyways, for now, we got uh, some red oak chunks sitting down there below the uh, Commando Joe charcoal, and then we're going to dump one lit chimney full of charcoal into the middle of this coffee can, take the coffee can out, and then we will put uh, the water pan inside of the Weber Smoky Mountain with lava rocks in it, foil up the water pan, and uh, get our temps somewhere between probably uh, 275 and 300, somewhere around there, and uh, start cooking the tri-tip. All right, y'all, the smoker is about ready to go. We got the tri-tip out. It's been sitting in the fridge overnight. We got a lot of nice permeation here from that rub, and I think we're gonna go ahead and put one more layer on just to really get some flavor in there, and then we'll go throw it on the smoker. All right, y'all, the WSM has kind of settled in. Uh, it's been about 45 to 50 minutes, and we're not getting any of that thick white smoke coming out of the uh, exhaust that we don't want. We got some clear, very, very thin smoke, um, probably coming from the oak chunks, which is what we do want. So the temp on the dome is reading at 260. So we're probably sitting around 285, right on the great level. Let's go ahead and put that tri-tip on, and we're gonna uh, put a probe into it uh, so we can check its temp. All right, we're gonna take the tri-tip up to an internal temp of 160, and then right around that time we will wrap. So yeah, tri-tip is on. The thermal works smoke is sitting in the thickest part of the meat, uh, and once we get to 160 internal temp, we will go ahead and put it in a foil pan and wrap it with foil. All right, y'all, we are just about two hours in, and the tri-tip has reached that internal temp of 160. So let's go ahead and take off the lid and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got some very nice color. The fat is rendering off nicely. And uh, as per usual, I did not baste this, mop it, spritz it, or anything like that. I feel like if you cook at a high enough temperature, you do not need to uh, spritz or baste your meat as the fat will render off and baste the meat for you. All right, let's put the tri-tip inside of the foil pan and uh, cover it up with some foil on top. And then we are gonna continue to smoke this until it gets to an internal temperature of 200 degrees. And then we'll start checking it for tenderness uh, with the probe. All right, throw the lid back on. 
Can you smelt this to an internal temperature of 200? All right, y'all, we are one hour and 40 minutes in. Uh, internal temperature of the tri-tip right now is 202. So let's take that probe and uh, probe it for tenderness right now. So this is basically what you do, and if the probe goes into the meat, basically like you're uh, sliding it through room temperature butter, then uh, your meat is done. So yeah, this is done. We're gonna take it off of the smoker now, and we're gonna let it rest for at least 30 minutes, uh, and probably the longest you'd want this to rest for is about an hour, and then we'll go ahead and slice into it. All right, y'all, here is the finished product. Uh, it has rested for 45 minutes. Looks great. Uh, it smells amazing, nice and smoky, and you can smell that tri-tip rub on there. So uh, let's go ahead and cut into it. It looks like the grain basically kind of runs like this. So I'm basically just gonna cut this way. Uh, and then this has this interesting little kind of like end here on a tri-tip I've never seen. Uh, we'll just kind of cut that one separate. Oh yeah, that is melt in your mouth, amazing. It's nice and smoky, it's juicy, it's tender, and you can taste the tri-tip rub on there. Uh, this is just out of control. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, folks, here we are. I actually took uh, that little corner piece and made like some tri-tip style Wagyu burnt ends over here. And then here we have the uh, actual tri-tip. Nice and moist looking, the smoke ring looks amazing. So yes, this is what you can do with the Snake River Farms Wagyu tri-tip if you want to try something different. Hopefully I didn't offend my Santa Maria purists with this video. Um, just felt like doing something different. And then I took all of the grease, put it in this grease separator, and then I will put all of this back in the pan and use some of that au jus to put on top of the meat and it'll be delicious. All right, my name is Odeed. We're gonna eat dinner, peace.